Okay, this video is intended to show um, some of the benefits of designing in Blender um, by not using a Tinkercad approach. And if we were to use a Tinkercad approach, um, let's imagine I want to do a ring. I've set the units to 0 0.001 in the millimeters, and then I went up here and also changed the scale of the grid here. So if I was going to design this like I would do in Tinkercad, I would probably add a cylinder, uh, maybe even scale it up. I pressed S and just grabbed it. And then if I wanted to scale this, make it sort of flatter, I would go S and then Z, and I'm scaling it along the Z axis in order to make it a little bit flatter. And probably what I would then do is I would copy this, G to grab it, move it over, scale it down, S, and make it a little bit smaller, now let's scale it along the z-axis and make it a little bit bigger. We can align in Blender by going transform align objects and you select what axes you want it to align on. And then what I would do is I would go over here. I would select this one as the target. I would add modifier generate, go up to Boolean. I would use the little eyedropper for the cutting tool and then I would apply this and then I would delete this cylinder to get the ring. The only problem is this is really difficult to edit if we've done it this way. So for example, I could grab one of these points, right? I'm in edit mode and I grabbed a vertex and pressed G and I could start to move these around, but that's not a very nice design. Okay, so what I, I wanna show you one other thing. If we go back up here to the object mode, and let's imagine we wanted to smooth this. It's possible to smooth in a, a number of different ways. One way in Blender is you add, go add modifier, and then you go over here to subdivide surfaces and watch what happens when we try this. It just breaks that model. Okay, so we're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna design in Blender and we're going to show you how to build the design from a more simple shape so you can increase your editing options. So the way we're gonna do that is, go up here, we're gonna add mesh, we're gonna add a circle. Now, I already had the units, uh, or the vertices and the size of it there, but uh, 12 vertices, so we can edit it, and 11 millimeter radius. Okay, so what we do now is, we want to start to build our ring around this circle. So I'm gonna press three, on my numpad to get this view. And I'm gonna go, I had selected it in object mode, now I'm gonna to go to edit mode, press E to extrude, and Z, because I want to extrude it on the Z axis. And now what we've done is we've brought this up like this. Now, this has no shape to it, we couldn't 3D print this. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna add a modifier. We are going to add the modifier generate and we're going to go solidify and this is going to allow us to add body to this so we want um, a thickness of this uh, 1.5 millimeters and you can see now we get uh, we have a more uh, an actual shape here and we could actually export this as an STL and 3d print it and make a ring out of it but I want to show you just how we edit with this so we're going to go over here I'm going to apply that previous modifier where we gave it, we solidified it. And now we're gonna use that subdivide surface. So if we go here, generate subdivide surface, and you can see it's now starting to smooth it out. And if we increase the number of surfaces, we're making this more complex, but we're also making it so that we could um, more easily edit it. So. Watch what happens if we select it. And now if we go into edit mode, now we can use this overall skeleton or scaffold. And any changes we made to that, it's gonna change the overall shape of this. So imagine if I now go here and I grab just one of those single vertices, go grab it. You can see it's, it's changing it in a much more organic way. And we could do a few different things. Let's undo that one. If I select a um, edge, and I now select this edge and grab it, 
but constrain it on the y-axis. I can pull that out and now you can start to see oh you were getting some shapes that actually look more like jewelry would shape. Let's imagine I want to try to narrow this part here. So if I select this vertex here and this one here, uh, I press shift to be able to select both those. And if we go scale and we can scale it in there, we can start to change the shape of this again in sort of a more organic way. And there's a few things that we would do, um, something called proportional editing, but I'm not going to tell you about that now. But I think this gives you the overall sense of this. Now, a couple of things to think about. Um, let's imagine, I actually didn't like, that made that too, too narrow, so let's undo that. But let's go ahead and um, go to object mode. We could go back and forth between these just by pressing the tab button. And I'm going to apply this. And now that I've applied it, we can go up here to edit mode and you can see how now complex this jewel, this geometry is for this. Um, so um, this may eventually get to be too much geometry, but right now it's a nice little ring that we can then go ahead and export it as an STL and 3D print. Okay, hope that made sense. Good luck.